To news out west now, where Alec Baldwin could be criminally charged in the shooting on the Rust movie set. Police in New Mexico have released footage from a film set of the moments after the fatal shooting of a cinematographer last year. Alina Hutchins, who was 42, was working on the film Rust. She died after a prop gun held by the actor Alec Baldwin discharged. Returning now to developments in the Rust film set shooting investigation, the FBI finding that the gun held by Alec Baldwin could not have been fired without some one pulling the trigger. Mac, time for your morning rush. Alec Baldwin is taking issue with an FBI report about the October shooting death on the set of Rust. The FBI says the gun Baldwin was holding when a cinematographer was shot could not have been fired without the trigger being pulled. But about four months ago, I made a long and extensive video on the Rust shooting incident. It did very well, and. Since we've gotten a little bit more information, some things I stated before are now 100% proven, and some are still a mystery, I suggest watching that video first, as it'll give you a fairly solid background on what's going on. Long story short, the incident I'm referring to happened in Santa Fe, New Mexico. When the cops were called, they were told a gun was discharged on set, injured one, Joel Souza, and killed another, Helena Hutchins. The man, with the weapon in his hand, Alec Baldwin, came into the police station voluntarily and spent about an hour discussing the case with police until he found out one of the two that were injured were dead. This was a horrible tragedy, and still during the first news interview, Alec had said that he wasn't guilty and that if he was, he would kill himself. Yeah, he said that. He also said multiple times that he never pulled the trigger assisted in an interview with George last December. It wasn't in the script for the trigger to be pulled. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. So no. you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. Well, from FBI forensics, it stated that with the hammer at various angles, including quarter, half, and fully cocked positions, the gun could not be made to fire without a pull of the trigger while the working internal components were intact and functional, the report stated. And on another update on October 5th of this year, nearly a year after cinematographer Helena Hutchins was killed on the film, in an incident involving a prop gun fired by actor Alec Baldwin in New Mexico, the Hutchins family and Baldwin have reached an undisclosed settlement in a wrongful death lawsuit. So, in turn, in the utmost of a year, all that we pretty much got was the Hutchins family got a sum of money from Baldwin and he will face no penalty, which is pretty insane if you ask me. I have the gut feeling that if this had happened to anyone that wasn't big in Hollywood, he would have had a ton more hellfire to go through. And yeah, I know he has to like live with that for the rest of his life, but it's that he went on multiple news stations immediately saying that he had nothing to do with it. I don't know. It just seems like a way for him to weasel his way out of it. And who knows, there could be a whole new case against him or even the armorer uh, if they want to put more into it. What's important is that if Helena's family thinks that justice has been served, they get closure, then that's awesome. Anyways, that's pretty much the update on that situation. Yeah, I know, that video was almost five months old. It's crazy. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please check out the couple other videos I have kind of on interesting topics like this. And if you like gaming stuff, I have a whole bunch of different stuff like that. I'll see you guys later. Peace.